Hello, and welcome to the... It's a uh, Java tutorial for... Well, actually, just a basic tutorial. Uh, and probably the most simplest thing that you could possibly do is to make a simple calculator. And the reason why you would choose this over other methods is because uh, it displays all of, a lot of really important functions that you can use. And it also includes some imports that you wouldn't otherwise use. So today, uh, yeah, we're going to make a calculator. And it's going to have the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So import. Uh, these are the necessary imports that you need. So import java.util.scanner. So this is a, a basic uh, scanner uh, class that you need. Um, to receive user input from your keyboard. And as you see over here, it says calculator.java. That's the name of the uh, program. And so the public, so the class name has to be uh, calculator. And you need to put a bracket here. And then this is another thing public static ugh, tick void main string args. All right, so this is the basic beginning, which is good. And now we need to make the scanner function. This will, you know, uh, receive user inputs. So scanner user input equals new scanner s system dot in. Okay, so I'm gonna close that statement. So um, this scanner is actually is now called user input. Which is good. That's what we. That's exactly what we want. Now to actually start the program. So we have, we create a new string called. Um, we're gonna call it. Um, uh, part one. And close that. And uh, now I'm gonna have a basic uh, print function system dot out. Dot print line. So there's a difference between. Um, Is excuse. There's a difference between um, print line and just print. Print line is just a return statement. Which, in other words, is just pressing enter. And well, if you just do print, it's just one continuous line. It doesn't do anything to it. There's also a bunch of different things where you can do a a force return, which is a backslash n, that's m n, or a or force a tab, which is slash t. So now system out print line, and uh, so now we're going to gather the user input. Pt one dot uh, equals uh, user input dot next. So this is going to put um, attach whatever the user input to point one. This means that it kind of that it closes the user input thing, so it doesn't receive anything else after the user uh, presses enter. So now the second thing is str uh, string part two system dot out uh, print line. What is y? We're gonna just. Or I can just do Y and X. That's probably going to be better. There we go. Part uh, 2 equals user input dot next. So, okay. So, um, I'm also going to have a couple other things here. Oh, wait, this does not tab. It does. So, anyway, okay. Um, now, this is actually going to... The string is... It's a string. It's not a. It's not a number or a character. I mean, it could be used as one, but currently we want it to be. Since we're going to be dividing, we want it to be a double, uh, which allows us, you know, have handle decimals and such and such. So we're going to do double. Pt. Uh, we're just going to do p1 equals new double. Pt1. 
So it's going to take this string, which is referenced right here, and attach it to this. And now it's going to be converted into a double, which we can use in some equations. Why is it, why is it not tabbing? Uh, double, yeah, so now we're going to do it for here, too. Double PT2. There we go. So now that works, we ha we should also create another double for the add um, equals uh, p1 plus p2 double minus equals p1 minus p2 double uh, multi multiply equals uh, p1 times p2 and double um, divide equals p1 divided by p2 so if we just uh, if we did if we left this as an integer like referenced all these things as an integer it would not be able to divide it which is kind of stupid but it, that's how it has to, that's how it has to be uh, so yeah now now we just have to print the results because uh, when we run the program and after we receive the X and Y because it reads from top to bottom so uh, it will do everything but it's not going to print anything because we actually need to print out the string so system dot out dot print line uh, added and I'm going to do add so now it's going to print um, string um, the double add and I just add a little bit of uh, something I put in there added to specify that this is the uh, the value of x plus y together so let's see and I'm going to do it for all of them minus or subtracted and uh, minus system dot out dot print line uh, multiplied I don't know how I spell multiplied so sorry if my spelling sucks because I'm no literary genius well actually someone can be really good at literature but suck it like my teacher I right, multiply Oh look, it's a cat. All right, system dot out dot print line uh, divided. There we go. And so now it's gonna print out all that. Now we have to close the statements. As you see, I opened two statements up here, but I didn't close them. So now I did down here these two. So now let me just compile. There shouldn't be any errors. Oh, ah, there we go. Now, if I were to click run, it would say X. Now, what am I gonna put in? Let's say 10. And let me just bring this up here a bit. And Y, it's gonna be uh, two. Added, 10 plus two was 12, yes, subtracted. 10 minus 2 is 8, uh, 10 times 2 equals 20, divided is, uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so this works. Um, I'll probably gonna add to this so that, uh, in a later one where we are gonna deal with, um, including time and date functions and printing out to a file. So you can say, ooh, this program is opened on, I don't know, uh, December 8th, 2013, and uh, put in this number, this number, and these are the results of that number, and prints it out to a text file or something like that. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the that's basically it. That's how you would make a a uh, calculator in Java. Thank you for watching. Hope this was extremely helpful.